All right, hello, fellow Pokemon trainers and Nintendo fans. Prince Charmander here, and we're back for episode 22 of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Uh, last episode, guys, we finally took out Giratina and Volo at the Spear Pillar, and uh, we discovered our first massive mass outbreaks. Uh, so now, I think what we have to do next is, uh, let's see, where is it at? Da -da 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 -da. I think we have to go to the Coronet Highlands now. One second. Uh, digging for tomorrow. Can go landing. Oh no 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 no! We have to battle. Uh, we've got to battle uh, Akari at the uh, Ginkgo landing, so we can go ahead and get on to the next part. So, ah, uh, there she is. All right, let's see. What do you have to say, girl? You'll have to battle me if you want to learn more about massive mass outbreaks. You're on. Let's go. Let's do it. You solved a lot of problems for us since you fell from the sky. But I still have no I still have more Survey Core experience. I need to prove that you can depend on me. So uh, okay. She finally have a Raichu? Oh wow, she's got five Pokemon. Cool. That's uh oh, Club Fairy, of course, and I lead with my guard chomp. Come on. Let's see how let's see how my alpha does. Oh, and this is the one that doesn't have any steel type moves. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Shoot. We might have to switch. Of course, all my good Pokemon are gone. Uh, Dialga? Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's send out Dialga. Let's show off our origin form Dialga. Oh, it has the same cry. Interesting. Alright. Um, eh, we'll go regular. Oh, I meant to do regular Flash Cannon, but oh well. Whoa, look at it. Oh, you know what? It does It does the same pose as Arceus. Like in the Gen 4 sprite. That is super interesting. Alright, Power Gem. Finish it. See, look at that. It's Arceus. Also, what the heck? You see its horns? Its horns kind of mess up. Let's see if I can show it off again. Uh, what's this Mr. Mime going to do? Hypnosis? Ah, oh, no. you got to be kidding me. Come on. Drain punch. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, flash cannon. Let's see if we can show off those weird horns. Oh, no! The, the face mask goes up. Is that what it is? I'm gonna have to look at it from another... Why do you still have a grottle? Or why do you have a grottle and not a Torterra at level 60-something? Um, strong style roar of time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that. Its little its little face guard goes up when it attacks. That's really cool. And you still have a Pikachu. Strong style. Uh-oh. Strong style quick attack. Are you kidding me? Quick attack again. All right, Pikachu. Uh, what? It was able to attack three times? Are you kidding me? Uh, I wonder, does Palkia do the same thing with its little uh, mask or its helmet? Let's find out. Let's see. So we'll go ahead and we'll use. Um, let's use Spatial Rend. Use Strong Style. Let's see how that goes. Oh no, it didn't do that. Oh, critical hit. Way to go. Battle decided. I wonder if there's a different move that might be... Maybe we'll show it off. What incredible strength. I'm proud to call you my protege. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, her guard jump's almost level 100. Although I did catch it at 85, so it's nothing to brag about. You're incredible, Charmander. I want to become strong like you. If I could become a worthy opponent, then I know I could do the Survey Corps proud. Big yeah. Pikachu, you understand how I feel? If we can understand each other, that means Pikachu and I really can get stronger. And I think we'll start by sharing a nice big plate of potato mochi. That's the spirit. Oh, so wait, you're supposed to... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I nearly forgot to tell you what I came to tell you. I'll explain what the professor and I discussed. We think Pokemon are gathering around lingering traces of energy left behind, this, behind the space-time rift. 
But we need to investigate more to learn how those energy traces relate to the rainstorms. Hmm. I don't understand a word you're saying, but it sounds like you know what you're talking about. I promise. I'll become a worthy opponent to you, Charminder. One you can depend on when you need want to grow stronger yourself. I'll see you later, Mai. Bye, Akari. Also, I love hearing Munchlax just walk. I like the Survey Corps. It's good to see young people so passionate about their cause. Alright, next we visit the Coordinate Highlands. Or at least that would be the plan, but I've yet to hear of a single sighting of massive mass outbreaks in the Highlands. If and when we do hear of any sightings here, there, let's meet at the Highlands camp. Oh, so it just doesn't automatically happen. I guess we have to... It'll happen when it happens, and then we just meet there. Uh, so yeah, let's go and we'll turn in our results to the professor. And, uh, let's see what happens when we go back. Um, if it doesn't appear, what I'll probably do is, I still have yet to catch a Cherubi. And I, uh, I looked it up to see what Pokemon are available during mass mass outbreaks. Massive mass outbreaks. And, uh, unfortunately, Cherubi is not one of them. Why? Why isn't Cherubi one of them? That's so stupid. That's like one of the hardest Pokemon to catch. And they didn't allow it to be a... Available in massive mass outbreaks. That's oh, that's frustrating. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and see mass outbreaks. Oh, a Yanma. We got a stunk tank, skunk tank, and Drapion. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look for some Cherubis. Um, and uh, when we get the next massive mass outbreak for the story mode or the mission, I will uh, we'll see what we do. Oh, there's a shiny somewhere. What is it? 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 <gasps> it's a shiny Scyther. I think it's a Scyther. I was over here just coming over here to check the, the woods and I... It is. It's shiny Scyther. Shiny Scyther. Okay. Um, 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 let me go ahead and... Oh, it saw me. Okay, it saw me. Uh, so we'll just use some sticky gloves. Look at it! I keep forgetting to save. Ah, <laughs> shiny Scyther! We got a shiny Scyther. That is freaking awesome. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's like my fourth shiny in this game. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and uh, <laughs> let me go check these uh, these cherries and stuff. Actually, you know what? The the sun's already going down. Let's go check out the scyther. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at it! There it is. Okay, shiny scyther. Look at her. She's so cool. Oh, now the thing is, do I do I evolve it into a cleavor or to a, a scissor? Oh, that's awesome. I don't have. Oh, yay! Okay, let's uh. I forgot we had Torterra on the team. Let's look at her really fast. Let's give her a a nice look. Look at you! Ah! Scyther! Awesome! Wow, that was totally random! I love- That was so great! I was just gonna find my Cherubian. Nope! Shiny Scyther! Alright, so we're going to see if I can find this Cheruby. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so um, after like an hour of searching, I found nothing with the Cheruby. It's getting on my nerves, so I'm like, let's just see what Maya has to say. Let's talk to her again. Charming dear, I have something important to discuss with you. I heard an odd rumor. I believe it may be the key to unlocking the mysteries behind the massive mass outbreaks. You must first acquire ten mushroom cakes, then bring them to the secret hollow in the Alabaster Icelands. I call this my tricky treat strategy. Okay. That much looks like, what about my agua berries? I'll be waiting for you in the Alabaster Icelands in the secret hollow. Okay. Mushroom cake. How many do I have? Actually, how do I make those? Craft. Craft. Uh, oh, here they are. Mushroom cake. We have one. Cake lure base and spriggy mushrooms. We have 20. We have 28 in total in our storage. And five cake lure base. Where do I get the cake lure base again? I think I can buy them from this guy over here. Anvin. Or Alvin. Anvin. Is this him? Anvin. Yeah. 
Uh, crafting materials. Kickler base. Look at that. In fact, we'll buy 10 right now because they're stupid cheap. And then we have four more instead of going to our storage. Okay. Good, good, good. And then craft. Boom. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, head on over to the Alabaster Icelands and see what Mai has to do with these mushroomy treats. Uh, uh. Here we go. Secret Hollow. Let's find out what's going on here. Will you wait for Mai? Yes. Mai, where are you? Ah, what do I feel like we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon? Oh, it's cold! Munchlax. Come on, Mike. Speed it up. Woo! Did you bring me ten mushroom cakes? Uh, yes, I did. Here you go. Knock yourself out, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. Well done. Come on! Mushroom cakes. And some quality ones at that. Now we're just getting started. Leave the rest to me. You can return to Jubilee Village. I'll share how successful my strategy was when I'm finished. Okay. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, let's return to the village and see what's going on. Uh, we haven't caught anything, so we can just leave. Actually, did you have a request for you? Oh, Charminder! Charminder. Oh, it's Leon. I had a visit from Melly. He came all the way just to boast about giving you some agua berries. He said you lit up with so much joy that your smile nearly split your face. I can't imagine that was the case. Sure, it was a confused grimace or a smile you merely forced yourself to give him out of pity. True, Lynn. But, I still can't let myself be outdone by him. So I've been looking for you all over his suey. To give you this, my very own reward to you. It is, naturally, far superior to anything Melly can offer. 30 agua berries, heck yes. Oh, and I did see one of those massive mass outbreaks on my way here to find you. I wonder if they might be caused by the geology of the place where they occur. Perhaps there is some mysterious kind of stone in the ground which draws Pokemon near. Oh, and I had a message from you for Mai. She would like to meet you in Jubilife Village. Back in Jubilife? Yes, she's been waiting there for you. Though I suppose it's more accurate to say that she's been chatting away with Samugi from the security course about Bidoof. As for me, I think I may visit the hot springs since I've come all this way. Do be careful of any massive mass outbreaks as you head back. Strong Pokemon might appear. Wait a minute, she was just... She was just there at the... Th oh my goodness. Are we getting played by like a Zoroark? I... What the heck? Uh... Yeah, so we're gonna head back to the village. And I bet you that wasn't her that we were talking to right now. But there's a Munchlax. Unless it was a Zerua. Okay, yeah, there she is. Okay, she's right here. My, my, what's on your mind? Uh, your tricky treat strategy? What in the world are you talking about? Mushroom cakes and strategies? Munch. Come to think of it, Irida also came to me with an odd request. She asked me for hearty grains, so I gathered some for her. What the heck? Could there be some Pokemon taking the guise of people to stir up mischief? <laughs> oh, what the hell? That's crazy. That's funny. Now what? None of this is why I called you here, mind. I meant to tell you a massive mass outbreak uh, has been reported in the Coordinate Highlands. Ah, my arm. The next step in our research is to investigate the Coordinate Highlands. Let's see what we can find. If you're ready, shall we set out to investigate? Heck yes, let's go. Because I'm tired of finding, trying to find these damn Cherubi. Very good. We should start off in the Highlands camp then. Now then, let's continue our investigation into these outbreaks here in the Coronet Highlands. Charming dear. Oh, it's Sabi. And my. What brings you here? I hurried here because of a vision my clairvoyant showed me. Some poor soul was running for their life from a bunch of alphas. I just barely saved them. It's as I feared then. These massive mass outbreaks really are growing out of hand. Charminder, we must endeavor to find the truth behind why they keep happening. Big packs of Pokemon might not be much trouble if you got a trusty partner, but if you don't, eep, I'm just scared thinking about it. 
you did well to save that person, Sabi. You're as fine a protector as any lord or lady Pokemon. Thanks, Mai. If my clever one shows me anyone else in trouble, I'll do my best to save him too. Just be careful while you're out there, okay? She's right. I know how strong you are, but we should move with caution here. Okay, so uh, let's go and let's talk to Munchlax and... Uh... Can I... Oh, I have to talk to Mai, that's right. Uh, okay. Hoping to give... Uh, yeah. Munchlax, what are we seeing here? What's here in the Highlands? Um, okay, we've got Heracross. That's pretty much it. Anything anything new? Goodbye, Gibble, Yanma, Rhyhorn, Mine Jr., Snover, Geodude. Snover might be cool. Okay, so what we'll do is, um, we definitely want to get the Heracross first. And you know what? We'll go to the we'll do the Yan we'll do the Yanma one first. All right, let me go ahead and let's let's head on over to Yanma. Okay, cool. That's one down. All right, let's go get that Heracross before before it's too late. Uh, wrong Pokemon. There we go. The Heracross should be over here. Wee. Wait, um, dang, there's no, like, cover. I use this time to show off the, uh, awesome animation for Shadow Force. Look at that, look how we just tears, oh, it just tears open the, uh, it's so cool. I'm very tired now. <laughs> I've been recording for too long. I might just have to take a break after I do these, uh, these outbreaks. Oh, they can actually hit Garatina. For the longest time, they were just swords dancing, uh, double-edging and close combating. But uh, I guess they figured it out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is. It lowers its little uh, chin guard mask. Oh my gosh, it still lived on that? Wow. Oh no, Palkia goes down. Dang it. Oh well. Cool. Okay, so there we go. Let's go. You know, let's go through the Snover. Let me go in. Oh, what the heck? The rainstorm died out before I was able to... Oh, I gotta wait for another one to happen again? Dang it, I ruined it. It took too long with those darn snowvers. Okay, should've just done the ponytail. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta report our results to the professor. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna check one more of these damn... Let me see. I can use a rest. Midday. I'm gonna try, uh... What's it called? Um, try doing one more of these uh, Truby finds. Let's see if we can get lucky. God, this is annoying. I hate Truby so much. Ah! Curse the son of a bitch who put Truby in trees only. I know there's another place to look, but ah! This is the way that everyone else is doing it, and it's not working for me, and it hasn't been working in a... Ah! There's another Cherim. Oh my god. Okay, so I looked it up on IGN and there's apparently more of them that you can find in the Lonely Spring here. Um, so let's see how this goes. I also taught my Scizor the mastery of False Swipe. I didn't do anything. There's like three locations. They can spawn in the Lonely Spring, the Fabled Spring, and the Primeval Grotto. So I'm gonna give that a shot and see what we find. Oh my goodness. I'll swipe. Come on. I see that there's another tree shaking over there, so hopefully that helps. And, uh, that's hopefully one of them. Uh, I'm gonna use a great ball because I don't want to miss catching this thing. Oh my god. Please let me find this damn Cherubi. That's the only Pokemon I need besides Mr. Mime. But Mr. Mime's easy. He spawns in the overworld. He's not like this darn Cherubi. I've caught four Cherim before I've caught a single damn Cherubi, which makes no freaking sense to me. Uh, can you be a Cherubi, please? 
That's another Cherim. Why? <laughs> yes, finally! Oh my god! Oh, but it feels like freaking hours! I should have just been doing... I don't know why I didn't check the other places. I'm an idiot. I have nobody to blame but myself. Training kiss. Okay, that's fine. You're not going to do anything. Just don't kill yourself. I swear. Okay. Okay, Pokeball, go. Yes! I caught my Cherubi finally! Oh, I'm taking a break after this. I'm t I'm tired. <laughs> I've... Ah! Yes! Why don't I have space for? We'll go back to the village. There it is, Cherubi! Yes! Thank God! 3, 2, 1. My neck hurts. I'm tired. Ah, I hate this game. <laughs> yeah, it's Ruby. Woo. Take that. Stay in the ball. Yes. Okay, we caught a Mr. Mime. Actually, I wanted a. Uh, I wanted. Let me just. I want to complete the Highlands decks. So I caught my Mr. Mime, the one I was missing. Let's talk to the professor now. Yes. There's Mr. Mime, the, the second to last Pokemon I needed, or the last Pokemon I needed. I thought Shrubu was going to be the last one. I could have sworn I caught one, but whatever. All right, let's see. Uh, what happens? Uh, so that's our first entry for Mr. Mime. Uh, return to the village. Okay, so. What does our Pokedex say? Oh, okay, see? That it. That's it. It's completed. Uh, it's got the mark. It's got the mark. So now we just need the Crimson Mirelands. Uh, I need a Ursaluna. They can pop up in Outbreaks. Poudon, Gardevoir, Gallade, Voice Cash. Yeah, okay, so I got, I still got, next up is the Crimson Mirelands. I got to catch quite a few. I think this is going to be the Tornadus or Landers or something. Oh no, it's Honchkrow. Hunchcrow. I'm pretty sure we can find a Hunchcrow. Grottle. We need a Turtwig. I don't know where the Turtwigs are at. Uh, we need a Bonsley. Hyperior. Oh boy. I got a lot to catch. Okay. Alright guys. All I'm going to take a break right now because I'm tired. I'm over this game right now. <laughs> okay. Bye. The next day. Okay. So it feels like it's been like forever that I've been resetting these dang outbreaks. And we finally got a massive mass outbreak, and it's where we need it to be in the Cornet Highlands. Well, there's a mass outbreak of Lurielu. Okay, well, let's hurry up and do this. <sighs> let's go to the summit camp. Finally, we'll be able to finish this request. Hopefully, we get an Ursa Luna. I think Ursa Lunas are available in this one, but we'll see. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and let's talk to Munchlax. Uh, where's Munchlax? Or Maya, I mean. Talk to my Hello, my. Uh, yes, we'll get five Agua Berries because we got a butt ton to work with. All right, let's see. What do we got? Give us something good. <gasps> Rowlet. There's a Rowlet outbreak. Uh, no Agua Berries. I'm not doing Snowber again. Snowber was a pain in the ass. Um, so these ones are sh sparkling ones. Um, I guess we'll do... We'll go Rowlet, Luxio, Voltorb. That's what we'll do. Also, does this count as uh do we only need to do one more? Oh yeah, I just need to I just need to do one more. You know what? So let's just do the the Rowlet. Since there's no Agua berries around. And we'll come back when we'll report to Mai. So let's go do those Rowlets and see what we find. Look at them. Oh there's a Dartrix. Oh. Look at that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly over here. Oop, wait a minute. Let's uh let's activate some stealth spray. There we go. Boop. Just plop ourselves right over here. I just wasted a sticky gob. Wonderful. Okay, so we didn't get too lucky with those, but we're going, we're going to go and <clears throat> it's still counted. So that's totally fine. So let's talk to Maya and get this over and done with. Good work out there. It seems we may have learned all that we can from the Highlands for now. Oh, it's Adamant. 
There you two are. Hope your investigation is going all right. We're doing great. I heard folks in our clan and the Pearl Clan are helping investigate these massive mass outbreaks, or whatever you call them. And I thought, what kind of leader would sit back and do nothing while you're all working? So I figured I'd grab whatever supplies I could find that might come in handy for you. Here, materials for those sticky glob things. Oh, thank you, Adamant. That is... It comes out... Wow! Oh, cool. All right. How leader-like of you, Adamant. Don't make fun, Mai. I'm trying to help. You misunderstand me, Adamant. As a sister who helped raise you, I'm truly proud to see how far you've come. Much, much. Oh, they're sisters and brothers? Or brother and sister? That's cool. Listen, Charmander. I've been wondering. Do you think these massive mass topics could be some sort of trial from Mighty Dialga or Mighty Palkia? It's possible. It kind of feels like it, right? As if someone's telling us, if you got the guts to face a real test with your partners, take on these Pokemon. Otherwise, stand back. Quite like you to see it that way, Adamant. Yeah, well, I'd love to stay and talk, but I've got an appointment to keep with that bounty fellow. I've been, I've been trying to get him to teach any of his tricks. I mean, his ninja skills? I want to know his recipes and his ninja tricks. Once I do, I'll give you a proper demonstration. But in the meantime, stay safe as you investigate. So, what was that? That was a weird little gesture right there. My, my. It would seem it would seem having a trusted partner causes one to view these outbreaks in a rather different light. Aw. Now then, the Alabaster Ice Sun's still awake. One more sleep hurdle for us to overcome. Munch. You said... Oh, <laughs> I should have said munch. Dang it. Appears munch lacks as you continue as well. We'll await you at Jubilee's front gate as usual. Join us when you're ready for another survey. Heck yes. Okay, good, good, good. Our last item of research is to look into massive mass outbreaks in the Alabaster Islands. Let's finish this together. Uh, if you're ready, shall we embark on investigation? Heck yes! To the Islands we go! Good, and let's head for the Snowfields camp. Woo, it's pretty cold. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry about that. The cold here seems to cut right through you. Munchlax. What do you see, Munchlax? Dang, look at him go. Oh, it's Leon! Oh, no. What are you two doing here? I came to advise you that the massive mass outbreak series here in the Alabaster Island seems slightly different than the others, I tell you what. The outbreaks happen during rain storms and other areas, but here they seem to be tied to blizzards. Blizzards, you say? It could be just the cold environment, of course, but I have to wonder if there's more to it. Well, we better get to it. I think we should look into more outbreak locations than usual this time. Uh, better get started. I know increasing the scope of our investigation is a lot to ask at this point. Probably five of them. And even for someone with your skill, Charmander, it'll take a long time to check so many areas by yourself. It's a good thing I'm here to help you out then, isn't it? And I suppose even Leon might be of some use. I'd appreciate the help. This will be your first time investigating these outbreaks, won't it, you two? Try not to overstrain yourselves. Certainly. So to sum up, Charmander will focus on just three areas, as he's been doing till now. Meanwhile, Sligu and I will handle the remaining areas. There's something wrong with your math there, little man. You've left me out of the equation. So you can do basic math, can you? <laughs> oh. Hmm. I know how to subtract you from this assignment, for starters. I will finish all the remaining areas on my own. You need to factor in. These guys are mean to each other. <laughs> Why? I can't tell if they hate each other or if they're both enjoying this. Either way, I imagine they never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for you. For now, let's focus on investigating the outbreaks here in the Icelands. Cool. Okay, uh, where is our little Munchlax friend so we can find out what's, what's happening here? Oh, there they are. Hello, my... Okay... Five agua berries. Munch, munch, munch. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, we've got mischievous, swinna, glamia, cadabra, cadabra, mischievous, cadabra, curlia, drifloon. Yeah, nothing really too cool. And there's not a lot of agua of ones. Um, uh, there's an abra. I thought there would have been more. Okay, you know what? Let's go. We'll get. We'll do rufflet. I think a Pokemon that I don't have shinies of. 
I have a shiny Glameo. I have shiny one up from Pokemon Go. Um, I have Duskull. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. We'll we'll fly over here. We'll do the route. Uh, we'll do the Rufflet. We'll do the Mischievous, and then uh, we'll do the Kadabra. Dang! I don't know where this Mischievous went. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. We gotta go. We gotta go do the do the rufflet. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's hurry up and go. Uh, let's hurry up and, yeah. Let's fly back to the Ice Peak Arena. I wonder. I wonder if the mischievous will be back. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out the mischievous. Yeah, let's see. Maybe they'll be back. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. I think that's the last one. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. Um, and then... You know what? Let's go check out the Curlia. Let's do the Curlia one. Curlia will be the last one, and then anything else is uh, icing on the cake. That's smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Oh, an Alpha Gardevoir. Okay, and then go ahead and hit it from the back. There we go. Oh my goodness, they're all mad. I'm sleepy. Now, that should be it, though. Cool. Alright, so that was, uh... That was all of them. Actually, you know what? I don't have a Drifloon. Let's do Drifloon. We have time to do one more. Let's do one more. Oh, it seems to have ended. No! We just missed it. Okay. Well, at least we didn't have to go back and forth between Jubilee Village. I don't know how many times I had to do that when I missed the outbreak in the corner in Highlands. Hello, Mai. So, you finished checking the three areas you were charged with in the Icelands. Lunch! Hey, look it. It's both of them. I've gotten word from Millie, too. He says he's about ready to wrap up. Leon said he and Millie worked together to investigate the last outbreak. Wow. I'm bringing unity to places. Well then, it seems we're done here. You've worked tirelessly to investigate all across the city. But we still don't know what causes these massive mass outbreaks. And they pose a threat to anyone without strong partners at their sides. It'd be nice if these outbreaks didn't put anyone in danger, but things rarely work out that easily. Perhaps these outbreaks are someone's way of telling us that we must better understand the Pokemon with which we share vast history. Yeah, I can get behind that idea. Yay, we did it! Caster Fern, Mud Ball, Iron Trunk. But for now, we better get going if we want to make it on time. Come along, you two. Where are we going? Oh, okay, look at that. Uh, shows all our Pokemon that we caught. Thirteen thousand dollar reduce. Nice. Come on. Um. Okay. There we go. Nine hundred eighty points to the next star rank. Almost there, guys. Oh, look at that. We're back in the field lens. Okay. Are we gonna get a reason or some kind of closure? This is the place. And we picked the perfect time. What is it? What are we seeing? The rising sun in Hisui. Or is it the setting sun? What do you think? It's beautiful. This lovely space given to us by Mighty Palkia. And this fleeting time Mighty Dialga gave us. Such a beautiful way and only possible... A so beautiful view is only possible because we were up to get we bleh, I can't read what the hell is wrong with me such a beautiful view is only possible because we have both together His story means so much to me my love for it is as vast as the land itself Tell me Charmander do you enjoy surveying this land once again? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I actually enjoyed it 
It's cool running into all those cool Pokemon. Was it? I suppose it's always fun to have a mystery to delve into. I enjoyed it too. Munch. I heard these massive mass outbreaks trigger some kind of reaction in your Munchlax mind. Is he doing alright? He seems fine. Pokemon remain mysterious creatures to us. Who's to say how he does it? I'm just grateful for him to help for helping us find the outbreaks and telling us what we'll find at each. That reminds me. I spread the word that the people of Hisui should be on alert for massive mass outbreaks during rainstorms. Thanks for that, Irida. Hopefully no more poor souls will wander into one unprepared and take a beating. Seems like our lives are going to keep on changing, and we'll keep adapting just as fast. An ever-changing Hisui. Tell me, Charminder, how do you think the future people of Hisui will live with Pokemon? <laughs> they'll enter in gyms. <laughs> they'll, enter the, they'll battle in gyms. Yeah, I'll do that. In gyms? What is a gym? Why would you battle in one, Charminder? You say there are places where you can challenge a skilled battler to prove your mettle? Interesting. I like to be the one who deems a challenger worthy. Well, whatever may come of the future, aren't we lucky to have been born into such fascinating, fast-changing times? You said it. Not that change is always good. There will always be people who don't want change at all. But hey, that's life. We'll just have to work hard and push on. And I'm glad we'll have you with us as we do it, Charminder. Thanks for everything. You certainly have some curious ideas. But I suppose that's no surprise, coming from someone who fell out of the sky. We may have finished our investigation for now, but Munchlax and I will continue to help you however we can. Munch! Look at him. He's so cute. You know, Charminder, perhaps these new outbreaks truly are just a gift from Mighty All Almighty Sinnoh. A gift meant for you. For all the good changes you brought for all of us here in Hisui. Yeah, I think so too. Yay! Epilogue. Okay. Daybreak. All right. Cool. So we got the daybreak uh, side uh, expansion taken care of. That was fun. Now to finish catching all those Pokemon that I need for the Pokedex. There's quite a few I still need. That dang Ursa Luna is. Ooh, it's so hard finding a peep block. Let me see. What's next? Oh, Zingo. Welcome back, Charming Deer, and fine work with your surveying. Pardon the imposition, but would you follow me to the training grounds? Hmm, where are we going? I was not expecting this. Oh, it's Kamado and uh, Zizu. I called you here for one very specific reason. I wish to have you try your hand at a new form of Pokemon battle. I used to think that Pokemon were terrifying creatures. You've helped me see otherwise. Thanks to you, there are some in this village who now enjoy battling with Pokemon. More and more of us now see Pokemon as allies. Oh, that's nice. It is for that very reason that I would like you to continue to further your trailblazing. I believe that taking part in a new form of battle will help deepen our understanding of Pokemon. In the midst of a tough battle, what does your partner desire? And what is your opponent thinking? I believe that you have the ability to sense these things, and we will do our best to learn as well. This is quite a difficult request we have for you, but I am sure you are up to the challenge. You may ask Ingo here for a more detailed explanation. I leave the rest to you, Ingo. Please let me know when you are ready to try your hand at these new battles. Is this the Path of Solitude? Oh no. Yeah, this is what it is. Have you tried any of Ingo's Path of Solitude battles yet? Path of Solitude? Oh, I think these are like one. you do one-on-one -on -one battles. Ah, the Path of Solitude. A chance to master the art of battling with a single Pokemon. Battling a tough opponent with just one Pokemon in your party feels like reaching for the stars. You've really got to know your Pokemon well so you can come up with the best strategy. On that note, I've got a request for you. They say the path to solitude is tough to beat, but that's exactly what I'd like to see you do. I'd give it a go myself, but, well, those sorts of battles are just way above my level. Bidoof's path to solitude? Eevee's? Not finished yet. Wormadam? Abra? Blizzy? Oh no! 
Oh no, I've ruined my game. Oh, I'm gonna have to do all of these if I want to complete the game 100%. Is there a magic harp? Oh my god, there's gonna be a request for every single. It's a mark in the Pokedex? Wait, where's Bidoof? Plump Mouse Pokemon. I don't see anything on here. Yet. Oh no, that's so lame. Oh, is there a, is there one for every single Pokemon? Sort. Mandrake Roselia Pass. Oh my god, there probably is. Oh, Garrett of the Security Guard suggests that you try the Path of Solitude. He recommends you face the challenge with a well-trained Bidoof. Defeat Ingo in a Path of Solitude battle with Bidoof as your partner. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to be so annoying and hard. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Well, I guess that's something I'm going to do on my own time. Um, are these guys still... We're done gathering. Oh, cool. So we got some more mints. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, it's uh, really good. Definitely uh, worth a oh, lonely mint. Okay. Uh, farming and getting this up because you can get nice mints to... Um, what's it called? Um, get rare berries and uh, mints to change your Pokemon's natures. Definitely worth a shot. You need to get like uh, a ground type Pokemon, a water type Pokemon, and a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash. Um, those are the three requests in that order. And uh, then you'll be able to uh, harvest stuff. It's actually really useful. Okay, so let's go back to the front gate. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep looking for this darn Ursaluna. Hopefully we find a massive mass outbreak that will give it to me. Oh, massive mass outbreaks. Okay, uh, there's over here the Alabaster Icelands. All right, so let's see what I find. Do what? Oh, Curlia with Agua Berries. Anything here that I really, really need? There we go. We got our first Basque Legion. Look at him. Oh, I didn't want him to grab the Viva Joke, but whatever. Okay, guys. So I've been recording for quite some time. I'm still still missing a good chunk of these Pokemon. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I got to get a Dust Noir. Um, where is it? Where, where am I at? So for the Cobalt Coastlands, what do I need? I need to get a Magmortar. I have a Magmarizer, so I can easily get that done. Uh, I, got, I don't have a Tentacle. I got to get the... Got to get a, a Ninetales. Ooh, Dust Noir, Glameow, Wall Rain. What else do I need from here? An Overquill. Still have quite a few Pokemon to go in order to complete this Pokedex. Um, I don't know what I need to complete it. Like like the the, the other uh, forces of nature. I don't know if I need them for to to get Arceus. Um. But it looks like I might. I need a Mammal Swine. I need the Bastardon. Oh, no, Kranidos. No. I'm going to have to farm space-time distortions. Oh, no. I don't have Clefairies. Oh, my gosh. Guys, okay. Yeah, so I've got quite a ways to go. So what I'm going to do, we're going to wrap up the episode right here. Um, so that way I can have this ready for... Uh, a Monday upload. We did finish the Daybreak uh, update, so that's pretty cool. That, I think that should suffice enough for an episode. Um, and hopefully this time this week, I'll be able to complete the Pokedex. Uh, I'm going to do a little more research into um, what I need. Do I need to get the other forces of nature in order to... Uh... Look at that, and we ranked up. Yes. Um, in order to encounter Arceus. So uh, hopefully we don't. If not, I mean, they weren't too hard to catch. Uh, Landorus wasn't too hard to catch. But we'll see. So uh, thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hopefully, I know I said this last time, hopefully next episode will be the finale where we get Arceus and uh, we can move on to our next project or get prepared for our next project, which is a uh, brand new Nintendo game that's going to be coming out later this month, um, if you want a little bit of a hint. Uh, but again, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, like. Comment below, did you finish the Daybreak episode? What are you hunting for in the massive mass outbreaks? Um, I'm looking for that Ursaluna and anything else that I need to get for my Pokedex. Uh, but make sure you subscribe. 
ring the bell so that way you're notified when we have a new video going up on the channel. And until then, guys, take care, stay safe, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!